Hello all, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. In this video, we'll be discussing a Python-based proxy server which we have built from scratch that will act as an intermediate between your request to access some web page or the server and the uh, one who is providing that resource server to you. So it acts as an intermediate to establish a connection to get the data on the web page. As far as requirements for building this model is concerned, it requires Python with all the modules installed. Basically, we'll de deal with socket programming to program the communication links and a Visual Studio code editor or any other code editor in which Python can be run and installed. So with that being said, let's get started and have a look on the code of entire web proxy server. This is an entire Python program which builds a web proxy server which asks you for a listening port you will enter the port number and you will hit enter. This, this program will execute and will establish a proper connection with that server so that it will turn to, to a responsive page and your network settings will allow you to access that web page. So many of the web pages which involves HTTP protocols are restricted by our, are restricted by our network settings of our, of our PC. But using by using this proxy server, you can directly convert into HTTP server into HTTPS accessible protocol so that you can access that particular web page and can do the work, do the work accordingly. So guys, this is an entire Python program that will convert for a proxy server that will enable, enable you to access the data of a web page that is not uh, responsive at the first time when you access that page. But after establish, uh, establishing the activity, activation links and the communication links, that particular protocol will convert into HTTPS protocol and you will able to access that particular pages, web pages, which could be responsive and you can do the work accordingly. So what this particular program will do is, this is entirely socket programming. This is sort of different thing. Socket programming is the term used to establish the communication links. We are programming, we are coding on to establish the communication link between the networks. So it will ask you to enter the listening port. You will enter the port number in, on which you need to access the uh, server. Accordingly, once the program get, uh, starts executed, it will then accordingly print that initializing socket done, socket binded successfully, server started successfully. Means you will enter your listening port and you will able to establish a connection between your server and the uh, and your system so that you can access that particular web page easily. Once you are able to access that web page easily, you'll be able to access the elements of that web pages, which for which you were earlier not able to access due to our network settings. So by using this proxy server, you can uh, directly access that uh, web page, which you were not able to access earlier. So proxy, as the name suggests, it acts as an intermediate between the client request and the request that is provided by the by any server. So basically you can consider an example of uh, for, uh, websites of my project ideas. For example, some of the net, uh, considering a hypothetical situation that you are not able to access our website, that is my project ideas or root labs. What you will do is the, uh, you, you are going to the Chrome, you are typing my project ideas and you will, you are not able to access that particular uh, page. So what you will do is you will go to the settings part of your uh, system, you will go to settings, you will go for network and internet, you will go for proxy settings and accordingly you will change all these se uh, settings first, you will add, uh, 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 add the port number, you will on this particular proxy server and you will set a password and then accordingly this python program will run, you will enter the port number which will, which will be provided you, which will, uh, you will get when once entering into this a particular settings, a particular uh, page, then it will, then it will, once you will hit the run button, then you will be able to access that particular web page. So this is an entire Python program through which you can uh, access the proxy server. You can access some unresponsive pages and you can make it responsive through this proxy server. So I hope guys, the video was clear and precise enough. The code was understandable enough, clear enough. So please do sub subscribe to our channel, My Project Ideas, and don't forget to hit that like like button and the notification uh, uh, bell icon.
to get the latest notifications see you in the next video guys until then keep growing keep exploring